and you feel like that day, you, t you talked about how, look, he was like, this gunman was like a rabid dog. You don't get mad at a rabid dog. Yeah. You, t you may take him out in the back and shoot him. You put him down. But, but you, you felt like the laws that constrained you, that made you, oh, yeah. because it's your instinct. It's all of our instinct, most of us, to be a law-abiding citizen, to follow the rules. And you did that, and you really yeah. feel like that's what wound up costing more lives that day. Absolutely. And I can't tell you, there were a number of other people in the restaurant that had dutifully left their guns out in their vehicles that day. In fact, a couple of years after the incident, a woman, older woman, uh, approached me in the local bank and said, Susanna, you don't know me, but I want to tell you that my daughter was one of the ones that was killed there that day, and her gun was out in her car as well. Mm -hmm. And I know you say that you don't believe yeah. there's any coincidence that we see these things happening over and over again in restaurants, in schools, in malls, in places isn't where... Isn't that amazing? They, they are gun-free zones. Yes, isn't it amazing that all of these mass shootings... If, Megan, if, if guns are the problem, then somebody explain to me why we don't see these mass shootings at uh, skeet and trap shoots or, or the dreaded gun show, you know, places where there are thousands of guns in the hands of at least as many law-abiding citizens. These creeps go to places where they know that they can rack up high body bag counts. And it just seems so painfully obvious to me. Mm -hmm.